very rare that you can come this close to the water and shoot a vlog because normally the winds are always so crazy so you can't really get the sound quality very well because there's so much wind going on but today i caught that the wind was coming out of the west and not the east so i put myself in like this little cave area where it blocks the wind from me so i can shoot this vlog today to give you this crazy backdrop the outdoor living. My vlog today is I want to talk about Will Smith Jump. My buddy Cody made a video and he was talking about how like YouTube is all about the up close and personal and then the effects of the camera and things like that and who's filming sort of face to face sort of like I'm doing now I'm holding a camera and I'm giving you guys me and there's not a bunch of other cameras around it's sort of how YouTube is and how Will Smith's video didn't capture that. I saw it and I said, let me go over to his page and watch the video and see it for myself. And I tell you what, as a landscape designer, I saw something totally different than Cody and I saw something that was missed in a big way. When Will Smith made the jump, they had the audio on him and all he was saying was, it was beautiful, it was beautiful, this place is amazing, it's amazing. And the whole time, because obviously it's Will, He's a you know, celebrity superstar and he's in this market in this realm of, of sort of vlogging. They miss what he saw. And I guess being in landscaping, I, I'm kind of like impartial to that because I think it was missed. If, if I was filming, I probably would have filmed the environment of what he saw. And, and there was like no GoPro on him. There was no camera that captured the image of what he saw, but he said it a couple times. This is beautiful. This is amazing. This is beautiful. This is amazing. So I guess the vlog today is to say is that I, I think they missed one of the most important things and it proves how important landscape is. It's the environment. It's what we live in. Our brains are always drawn to that, to landscaping in general. You guys remember the matrix? where they had like the, the false move and construct. If he jumped into like a white screen or nothing, he wouldn't even have seen the fall. He wouldn't even, almost probably wouldn't even have felt the fall. He probably would have known he was falling, but there would have been no depth or nothing to see to give it, to give you anything. And I think they they, they failed to capture that. They failed to capture the, the environment of what he saw as he was falling. Because he was a celebrity, all 60, 70 cameras were on him. They did mic him, so um, you got to hear some of the stuff he did say, and I actually listened to that more than the fall, but because he was a celebrity, they put the camera on him. They, they didn't really show what he was seeing or what he said, but he kept saying, this is beautiful, it's the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen, and they never captured it. So next time, Will, next time, Will, you do one of those, put a damn camera on your head, bro, so we could have saw what you were saying. You know what I mean? But anyway, hey, thanks for watching the vlog. I thought I'd throw a couple more little twists in the vlog so you guys can see a different side of just landscaping and everything else. Actually, this is probably one of the most important landscapes because the Grand Canyon had to be nuts to see that from that high up. Hey, thanks for watching.